What in the Ferrari is going on here? Unbelievable. Welcome back everyone to some more F122 driver career mode. Time for the Dutch Grand Prix. This is going to be exciting. Um, do I agree with the advert on focus on whatever? I just don't care guys. Seriously don't care. Just give me a good car. That's all that matters right now because we are fourth on the grid right now. But we do have some upgrades in development. But that will come in September which I think will be in a couple weekends time. So let's head on into the Dutch Grand Prix for now. Let's get it. Time for qualifying around the Dutch Grand Prix circuit Zandvoort time. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump out there real quick because rain is expected. I don't think again, uh, just like the My Team series, I don't think it's like immediate. So let's just head out there and set some laps here. Our first ever lap, banker lap around Zandvoort, 109.1 to be. Not sure if I'll get that. Yeah, we're slower by 8 tenths, but that puts us on P4. That McLaren is speedy, man, speedy. How do we make it through with that initial lap? P8 and P10 for the two Red Bull drivers. So a little bit on the slow side. Magnus and the TV Stroll, Russell and Lawson are out. Q2, here we go. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Okay, here we go. Five tenths improving on our initial lap, which was on you, Soft. This is my first fresh soft run. This is the lap that matters. Five tenths improved. That should bring us up. P8 only. Oh, rain's coming soon in about a minute or so. There we go. Rain has fallen on the track, and that gives us P8 for qualifying into Q3. Uh, Gasly, Schumacher, Joe, Tiktum, Sunoda are knocked out. I don't know if my English just made sense, but we're heading through to Q3. Let's see where we go and where we place for the race. Here we go then. First lap in the intermediates. Whoa. I think it's going to be intermediates for the whole session. Whoa, came around the banking there. Let's see where we sit. P5, only 27,000 in it to P3. All right, improving by about 10th. Qualifying is officially over. Okay, Ooh, 1.5, 1.4 tenths. Let's see where that puts us for the start of the right P4. Ah, I was in P3, man. Where is that time coming from for the AI? Very close indeed. Only five thousandths away from Leclerc and then another tenth away from Alonso. So that was quite a close call, but it is what it is. Let's head on into race day P4. I think we can do well here in the dries around Zandvoort. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. For years, the passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside in races across Europe. Here this weekend, it's even easier to find the Dutch fans as they have a race to call their own once again. A warm welcome to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe, of course, as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. Zandvoort circuit has 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout the 2.6 mile lap. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Fernando Alonso completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Maverick, Max Verstappen and Albon, Ocon, Drogovic, Schwartzman and Yuki Tsunoda, Tictum, Joe, Mick Schumacher and Gasly, Sainz, Liam Lawson, George Russell and Lance Stroll, Latifi, 
and Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. P4 starting position and I think it's a medium to soft strat that we want to go for today. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, let me edit this one and see what happens if we do a medium hard. Uh, it's going to be slow for sure than the soft hards. Okay, so we can lower this by about a kilo of uh, fuel. And yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's see if we can pull off a stunning race. The formation lap gets underway then and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions could affect the lifespan of the tyres. As the cars come back towards the grid to line up for the start of the race, each driver will be wanting to get the best start they possibly can, and they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium, failing that within the points. Thirty-six laps of Zandvoort. Let's go, Dutch Grand Prix time. Let's see if we can get a good result. Lights out, and away we go. That's a bit of a long hold from the FIA. Oh, slotting in P four nicely, protecting our P four. Come on, let's stay close to Leclerc, try to get that DRS. We want to catch the McLarens as soon as we can. Oh no. Oh, how do you have that much grip there? That made no sense at all. How are they that much faster? Jeez, Luis, the AI is so OP now. Also, why is there so much vibration in the car? I don't know. It's like I'm driving on ice skates. This is a glitch. I have a fe similar feeling as the My Team video. Car was like as if it was there was a nice like sh thin sheet of ice on track. And it felt like driving on that. And the car feels a little sluggish. I wonder if it's an update in the game. But we continue in P5. Slowly losing grip on that DRS for the next lap. Come on. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Why? Someone must have spun. Well, I'm not making any progress here. Oh boy, come on. Still middle of nowhere. Please, get me closer to Verstappen. Ooh, safety car, safety car. What is this? Yellow flag. Nothing? Well, seems like nothing. But, I am witnessing a problem that is my rear tires are overheating. Which does cause a problem for the soft. I may have to move on to the hards. Hmm. I am contemplating whether I should move on to the hards because the hards absorb heat better. So I'm able to drive a lot faster without overheating the tires. But then overall on pace, the softs are much faster than the halves. So, i got to make a decision here. Will I take the tire temperature or will I take pace? And I take uh, exceeding track limits. There appears to be an issue. We're currently oh investigating. Oh dear. I may not even get to my pit stop at this rate. There's an issue with the engine again. 
Is this gonna be my what? 6th DNF of the season? 5th DNF of the season? I'm doing so well. I'm in the points, man. Plus, I didn't put any new engine components in. These have all been used before. Okay, yep. we have a severe engine issue. Find well, what do you know? Red Bull with the worst engine in existence. Again, wow. Yet another one for the season. I've got to hold the world record of DNFs in a season, man. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh. What a great race then, and a magnificent victory here at the Dutch Grand Prix. Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. What in the Ferrari is going on here? Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I just don't know what to say guys. What in the Ferrari strategy is happening here? Well, Leclerc takes the top step of the podium with Norris and Verstappen alongside him. Alonso, Alcon, Sainz, Gio, Albon, Djokovic, and Gasly in the points. Tictum, Schwartzman, Sonoda, Lawson, Schumacher, Russell, Stroll, Magnussen, Latifi round out the finishers with myself being the only car not failing or failing to finish. Uh, well, we're losing ground to the leaders here. Losing ground to Fernando Alonso overtakes us. There is six points in it between us, but... Yeah, I'm losing ground because the engine just blew up yet again. 172 point gap to McLaren, 61 point gap to Mercedes as the season comes to a close. And I don't know, really, this is some Ferrari level BS that's happening to my season this year. Uh, it's been the absolute worst time with Red Bull, so I can't wait until I'm out of here. I'm probably going to move after this, but yeah, yet another DNF tallied on to our name. Thank you guys so much for watching regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Take care and hopefully we'll finish the next Grand Prix and I'll see you guys in the next one.